So the other day I was talking to a fella and he said, you know, for a guy who went through brain cancer, you're a pretty happy-go-lucky fella. He said, most people in your situation would have to have a reason to be grumpy and mean are, but you're not. You're happy, almost like you're blessed to be alive. Kind of paraphrasing a little bit there, Wes, but... Um, so, I, and I kind of replied with, well, thank you. Um, so I thought we'd have a little Coke and talk about it. And uh, I'm having a Coke Zero, and we're going to talk about it. So, in that, I told him that what we found in a lot of books and stuff that we were reading at the time were people who had had worse cancers than, than I did and they were very lacking in their faith very against everything religion and once they kind of got the doom and gloom and they were nothing was working they you know thought well, hey let's give this a try and they started getting really big into their faith, you know, whatever that means to you, church or just reading the Bible um, and believing. And they started seeing some huge, huge changes in their treatments. And the, the way that the wife and I had always looked at things was, I, you know, here's a bad situation. What do we got to do now? What's next? And we've always done that. So when the they found the tumor on my brain, so there's a difference between metastatic melanoma on the brain and brain cancer. Brain cancer is cancer in the brain, and mine was a ping pong ball sized tumor on the brain between the brain and the skull. Um, but at first when we discovered it, it was, well, crap, what do we do now? And that was, what's the next thing? What do we got to do? Let's hurry up and get through this. And then we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out later. And we've always been like that. So when, when he tells me that, and I've, I've heard this all through my, treatments and recovery and all that, that the way you're handling this is inspiring and amazing. And I guess I never really paid much attention to it. Um, fortunately for me, it was in the brain and I didn't remember a lot. And, um, you know, I didn't think a whole lot about it. It was just daily. What do I got to do now? Let's get up and let's go do this. As long as I'm getting up out of bed, I'm winning. And and I did look at it as a blessing, and I still do. That every day I'm, I'm able to do something, and I don't know what that something's going to be. But the, the Lord's put me here, left me here for a reason. And, you know, as I look back and it, it all the crappy situations I've been through and put myself through maybe the reason why I'm still here is to share that story and that journey and maybe be the light for somebody else I don't know there were many a times I questioned my existence and you know being a depressed alcoholic you you always think there's better and what would happen if and should I go ahead and just end it all? And the only reason that I could come up with was I didn't want my kids to live through that. And that kept me around. And through my kids and my, the love of my wife, um, I was able to get sober and do all that. And um, that was a tough journey. Um, we went through a couple other, uh, milestones, shall we say, and, uh, then we hit the, the cancer thing and, you know, it, it was just another bump in the road for us. 
and it was what do we got to do to fix it and get on with it and now we're in the aftermath and I I struggle some days with that old me that I don't know where my old me is or if the old me is even valid anymore and I mean valid because I don't want to go back to the guy that I was but there's aspects of that life that I kind of want back but it's it's almost like being born again I have a new lease on life I have a new aspect or a point of view and it's it's just different now and I'm able to do what I want and I still have to get out of my own way certainly that mentality hasn't left but what has changed is instead of saying what if what if what if I say why not let's do it and there's days where I just don't feel like doing it but then there's days where I'm blessed that I did have a great week everybody